Hey guys, and welcome back to Sims 2. We are back in Clayton Village actually today, and we are going to meet one of the uh, newest, newer, newer families in Clayfield, and that is the Hardy family. And this is the house where they are living currently, and this um, apartment style house, it's actually a residential lot. This is Wait a second... Okay, there you can see the hospital and there is the bus terminal and the shops, the main um, shopping area is right there behind the trees. So it's this little um, apartment apartment area in Clayton Village. So, let's see who belongs to this family. Okay, here we have the head of the household, Vince Hardy, and uh, Vince is actually, um, he used to be a resident at the teen center, and so did his wife Celeste, so they are, they are both basically um, orphan teens, and let's see, yeah, so Vince is lucky, slob, born salesman, couch potato and te technology lover and he is a knowledge I believe it was family yeah he is a knowledge family sim and he is here singing the nursery rhyme with their youngest kid Joanna let's see if we can see her whoopsie I'm still getting used to my new mouse so sorry guys so there she is, little Joanna, and she is actually, she is going to grow up to a child today, so that's fun, and her traits are coward and born salesman, so pretty interesting mix. And then we have the oldest, uh, oldest kid, so this is Lou. And uh, loose traits are coward, lucky, very interesting mix. <laughs> coward, lucky, and rebellious. And he still has about uh, three days before he will grow up to 18. And here is Celeste, the wife of Hardy. Hardy. <laughs> wife of Vince. Sorry guys, I have to say, I, I have actually fever right now. <laughs> If I talk some, if if I talk a little bit crazy, that is the reason I'm actually down with the flu and I can feel my fever going up. So, so bear with me. Anyway, Celeste and as I said, she is also a former um, uh, orphan teen. So they actually met with Vince at the teen center and fell in love, and they decided to start their own family. And uh, Celeste. Celeste's um, traits are coward, workaholic, social disaster, eccentric, and mature. And Celeste is actually, <laughs> this is kind of funny and embarrassing at the same, t same time. Um, Celeste is working in a owned business and I actually have no idea <laughs> whose business this is. I have totally forgotten. Okay, but the uh, business is called Tasty Buns. <laughs> so yeah, I have I have no idea. I I just can't remember whose business this is. But uh, she is definitely an um, employee, so it's not her own business. So there we go. There you have the main family, and they are just currently eating some some yummy uh, mango uh, waffles here. And it's actually time to send Vince to his business. He is running a local grocery store. So we will send him on his way. And uh, even though it's a work day for Celeste, she's going to call in sick or um, or maybe she will call her best friend Krista to come over and watch the kids. I'll have to, have to see how it goes. But anyway guys, I will see you at Vince's business in just a bit. 
Okay, so welcome to the Clayton Mini Mart. And I know, the name kind of sucks. <laughs> but, as you all know by now, I'm terrible with names. Anyway, it's just a little, simple little grocery store. And it's actually right next to the main shopping area in Clayton Village. And the uh, train station is actually back there, behind the trees. So yeah. Uh, this lot is actually a, originally it is a uh, Maxis makeover lot that I made and I did some changes to it, but sorry guys, my <laughs> dog is distracting me. He's actually kind of um, in my way, which is not good. Ah, anyway, anyway, let's continue me and my my dogs. Anyway, yeah, so the um, the original makeover lot is available on my live channel. It's the uh, grocery grocery store from Bella, Belladonna Cove. So if you are interested, you can go and check it out there. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's very simple, very, very plain, generic store. And this guy right here, Blair, he's actually um, Vince's best friend. So that's kind of nice that he's he's coming here and he wants to support his his BFF, you know, buying uh, buying groceries from his store. And yeah, so um, for some reason I actually really enjoy playing with these um, grocery stores. I kind of uh, I just find it so so fun, I guess. <laughs> to see Sim Sims come here and buy food and of course when I'm playing with them I can find their groceries in their inventories so that's always fun that uh, when they run out of food they don't need to really go to the store because they have already gone shopping for some groceries but anyway I'm just I am just babbling and trying to learn how to use my new mouse but anyway let's go Okay, so some familiar fam faces are here too. There's Salvador. And uh, Vince is trying to hard sell on <laughs> Beatrice uh, Bear, who is of course um, Hayden's daughter. Okay, let's see what's happening outside. For some reason, this lot seems to be a very um, popular lot for for all the Sims in Clayfield. They just come here to hang around, especially elders and teens. They come here to hang around and eat hot dogs and gossip and all that fun stuff. And actually, let's take a picture. Okay, there you go. Okay, honey bear is there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
This time no lovers on the lot. <laughs> at, at least not yet. Renick, do father dad? The day got a duck. La boom. Hicka. For a kiss, Zabadis and Fru. Oh, he, um, she came with Morty, apparently. And this right here, here, Galen, he's actually Honeybear's son. So I guess we have the whole family here. And this, by the way, Dolores. She's actually, um, she's the only employee currently, and she's one of the um, teen center teens. Okay, so let's see. It's curr currently on rank five, and we need ten more customer loyalty stars to go to level six. Oh, hmm, this is interesting. Why does he have so much, so many points left? Hmm, yeah, I, I think this is one of the things I had to do when I, um, when I actually had to start fresh with the, with the neighborhood and I tried to fix this, uh, this uh, business perk points so that the sims wouldn't lose any progress or something but yeah that has to be th the reason <laughs> okay so let's use a couple of those because I definitely don't cheat with these um, perks or anything else well I do cheat with the sims um, need some sometimes I track them and all that more but um definitely definitely not with the businesses. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Oh Marilena is angry. There was a burglary burglar um in her house apparently last round. So yeah, as I said, usually all the elders and teens are coming here to hang out. But that's fine. Oh, Harry is there. Harry and his Harry butt. <laughs> oh, I love Harry. Seriously, I don't, I don't know what to do when we are um, actually going to lose him. It's so sad even to think about it because he's so um. Well, you know, he's one of the founders. He's just so big part of the whole city. Oh, Connor is actually <laughs> dreaming the hedges. That's funny. Hmm. Maybe I should mark down that he may want to join the gardening career later. That's a thought. Oh, 
Okay. Where are you running to? <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, is Honey Bear still here? Uh, can you see Honey Bear? <laughs> yeah, because Damani is here, and Damani and Marilena are, are also having having an affair. <laughs> and let's see how the reporter thinks about this store. So far, so good, I think. Hmm. Oh, she's talking about someone in her family failing college. That's funny. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I saw that the money. Oh, we did get the award. So that's good. But I think we already have one. Oh, yeah, there is one. Right on the counter. So yeah guys, for some reason I just find it so relaxing to see Sims around grocery stores. And there is actually going to be a lot more grocery stores in both Clayton Village and in Clayfield too. So basically um, each of the uh, residential areas, residential uh, zones are going to have their own little own little grocery store or kiosk. Oh, and there we go. So hello. <laughs> oh, this Sims. I'm telling you, that's such a funny picture. Okay, so Marilena and Damani are apparently having some some kind of um secret meeting here in front of everyone <laughs> yeah so it's not that oh my goodness gracious I bet that sh uh, soon her husband is actually going to walk in oh goodness gracious so yeah it's fun to see what the sims are getting themselves into. Okay, cut it out! <laughs> That's starting to annoy me a little bit. <laughs> Behaving like a couple of teens. Okay, there's a customer. Stop eating. Yeah, um... If Honey Bear were here, she would have flipped when she saw this uh, thing happening here. So, so I guess it's good that she actually uh, stopped shopping <laughs> just in time. So yeah, once again, some interesting scenario scenarios are happening in Clayfield. <laughs> Kindo 
So yeah guys, I think it's time to actually end this episode. As I said, I'm sick currently and feeling worse and worse. <laughs> By the second, I actually feel like someone is sitting sitting right on top of my head right now. So we are going to end this episode here. And there you go. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you have been enjoying this episode of Clayton, Clayton Village Clayfield. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys, and take care. Bye-bye.